Hi everyone, welcome to a Journalist Toolbox mini training here. The tool we're going to work with today is Google Earth. Uh, and I'm only going to show you one part of the tool. And this is Google Earth Major Tool. It allows you to measure distance, perimeter, area. And it's helpful for things like you know estimating crowd sizes and things like that. I'll show you another tool that will do that as well. Uh, but Google Earth Major is a really handy uh, tool. Um, Google.com slash earth or earth.google.com will get you to the site. And once you're there, uh, just hit launch earth, either the button in the upper right corner or the lower left corner. And a couple of years ago, they added this feature into Google Earth. I think it's which is why I often work it into my trainings. And the major tool is right here, uh, this little ruler down uh, in the lower left hand corner. It allows you to, again, to measure flat distance, um, a perimeter around a certain area or a uh, uh, area, square footage, yardage, mileage, whatever. Um, and by just uh, uh, selecting an area on the map, and the area I selected here uh, uh, was Mandalay Bay Hotel in Las Vegas, and this is where the Route 91 Music Festival was. Uh, this is the site of the Las Vegas shooting. Um, you can select the ruler, and notice it gives you a little window up here, and it gives you distance to start. So I'll just do distance. I'll click at the base of the hotel. It doesn't measure uh, angles, uh, you know, so you can't measure from like the 32nd floor from where the gunman was. But I can measure straight across to the front of that stage. Um, it gives me 326 meters. I'll convert it to yards. Uh, you have miles, yards, all kinds of stuff. So, you know, it's right around 360 yards from the front of that. Uh, to the base of the hotel. So this is important if you know the type of gun that the gunman has and you can see, you know, uh, you can drag this pinpoint around and see, you know, was uh, everyone in this uh, concert area within the range of his guns? In this case, uh, you know, they were well within uh, the range of his long guns. Um, so uh, you can also measure, you know, maybe a route, maybe a car chase or if uh, someone was chased on foot, uh, you can go in and draw this in here. I did a, a training about a year ago uh, in California, it was right after the Garlic Festival shootings, uh, and the, one of the reporters there had covered it, uh, and we retraced the steps of the gunman, and he covered about 225 meet, uh, yards uh, across uh, a creek flatbed up through a little forest area, so he popped right out uh, into the area where the uh, festival was. And, you know, he was carrying guns and, and ammo and things like that, and it was, you know, uh, pretty remarkable to see, you know, that area that he covered, you know, a little scary, too. Um, so it's good for, you know, breaking hard news stories if you're measuring distances, you know, maybe car chase or something like that. You can hit start new up here in the upper right hand corner. Um, if I wanted to see the perimeter of this concert area, I could just click around on it and kind of connect the dots here. Went a little wide there, but we have 927 yard perimeter and it also gives me area uh, too. And again, it, this uh, defaults to meters, you can adjust it to yards. Um, so you can measure the square footage of the area. Um, you can also use this to estimate crowd sizes, and this would have come in uh, real handy uh, back in January 2017 when there was some discrepancy uh, over the uh, amount of people or number of people uh, at the inauguration for Trump. Uh, to get rid of this kind of rotating uh, 360 look, I can click on the X up here or hit 2D. I'll drag the tool over to right where the National Monument is, and I'll get the ruler. I'll just paint over the area where the crowd was. And let's say I know that, you know, maybe 1.5 people fit per square meter. Um, I could do this and, again, adjust it to meters um, or whatever I want to set it to. Uh, and uh, you can go with, uh, I'll change it up here to meters. There we go. So I know the perimeter is 757. Uh, the square uh, meters is uh, 21,000. You know, if I know that 1.5 people fit per square meter and that this was pretty densely packed area, then I could do a pretty uh, quick calculation here and come up with around 32, 33,000 people in here. Um, so it's just one way uh, to do that measurement. It's also good, uh, you know, if you're uh, measuring, you know, maybe there's a big construction project in your city or something, you want to see, you know, how much square footage is being covered in downtown or is being, you know, uh, wrecked in downtown to see if it matches the numbers on the public records. You can paint it here uh, and see uh, if it matches. 
Um, some reporters tell me that they've used this to uh, double check, you know, property tax records, you know, is the lot really that size um, and double check. Um, very good uh, th thing to have. Um, besides uh, using this to measure uh, crowd sizes, you can also use a tool called mapchecking.com. Uh, it's not a Google tool, but it uses Google's uh, Maps API. Um, and mapchecking.com is the website. Uh, and again, you can just kind of paint around and determine how many people you think fit per square meter. And you just click around my area. And it gives me an estimate right over, crowd estimate right over here. And you can link to it. Uh, as well. So that's all we had for now. Uh, Google.com slash earth and mapchecking.com.